It's Fernando Ruiz Art. Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. And I know it's been a while, but uh, here we are. So let's let's dig in. Now, uh, what we're looking at here, a little show and tell to kick things off. Uh, this is a page. I'm, I'm starting something new on my website, FernandoRuizEverybody.com. And I'll be linking to that and all my social media down in the description below. Uh, all my social media is always down in the description. So um, if you guys want to see more of my artwork, um, that's the place to do it. Uh, go to my website, FernandoRuizEverybody.com. And follow me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, where you'll see me post stuff almost every day. Um, I'm between school, my work, and my own personal drawing. I'm, I'm putting stuff up almost every day. So this is a new feature. Now, some of you guys who've been following me already may have been following Fan Fiction Friday, where I've been posting pages of my own afterlife with Archie fan fiction. Um, and today, as of this recording, as I record this, it's a, it's, it's a Friday. Uh, today I posted two pages. We had a, a double feature for Fan Fiction Friday. Um, and, and as of this posting, I'm halfway through, I'm, I'm at the equivalent of half, half of an issue. So I've done 11 pages. Uh, um, most comics t these days have 20 pages of story and art. So nine more pages and I will have completed the first issue. Um, so I'm starting something new called Secret Origin Saturday. So what I'd like to do is every Saturday post a page of a personal favorite character of mine, personal favorite superhero of mine. Um, and... And I want to be able to tell their origin in a page, in, in, in one single page. So, um, and I'll post that page to my website, FernandoRuizEverybody.com. Uh, and you can see it on, on Facebook as well. So this is, this is the first entry. You're getting a preview of it right now. And this is the story of Green Lantern. So uh, this will be going up. Um, tomorrow morning, this being Friday, tomorrow being Saturday, it'll be up to, uh, tomorrow. Actually, for those of you watching this video, I'll let you in on a, on a secret. I usually post these things on FernandoRuizEverybody.com uh, the day before. So th this one's actually up on my website already. And um, you can see the whole page in all its glory. Plus, you could uh, read some of my notes on the page. I always like to post uh, some of my thoughts on these different characters, plus um, a lot of uh, inside uh, little tidbits, like stuff I may have included, Easter eggs, and where I got the inspirations for different things. So um, check it out. Um, okay, so now I want to get back into a real drawing lesson. And I've had this request for a while now. People want to know how to draw cars. And, um, you know, that that's, it's, it's one of these technical questions, but I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take you through how I draw a car very quickly. And the car, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a very specific car. And I have here my Stuntman. This is my model. Uh, for many, many years when I drew uh, Archie Comics, this guy served as my model for Archie's car. Uh, and Archie, you know, a lot of people think of Archie as driving um, the, his jalopy. But uh, he actually upgraded from a jalopy to a Mustang. Specifically, a 65 Mustang convertible, Ford Mustang convertible. So... Um, uh, and he did this, uh, I don't remember exactly when, but it was certainly well before I started at Archie. And I, I started in 94. He, he was already in the Mustang by then. Um, and he, and as far as I know, he's still in the Mustang. Um, so I was drawing this Mustang over and over a lot. So uh, it paid to have 
a model because with a with a nice model in hand, I can move this thing in any position that I want to be able to draw it. And I should say, as I put my model aside, um, cars are one of those things that you really, really need reference for, what we call reference. You really need to be looking at something in order to, to really draw it properly. Because unless you're, you're a real fan of cars, unless you really know a lot about cars, you're just not gonna be able to, to, to really get a car down in detail believably. It's always gonna look glaringly like a fake car. Okay, so I'm laying down here a cube, really a rectangle, but the rectangle's just the distant uh, cousin of a cube. So I'm laying down a cube because this is going to be my basic shape. And in drawing cars, it's going to be like everything else. You take that shape and you break it down into simple shapes. So really, I'm drawing a cube and I'm breaking that cube down into um, into two cubes, okay? So I'm, I'm turning this car into two stacked cubes, right? And as, as with all my drawing, the last thing I'm, I'm, I'm gonna worry about, okay, are the details. I'm not gonna worry about all the things that will make a Mustang a Mustang until the very end. Right now, I just want the shape of the car. So once I've got these cu these cubes down in place, then I could start to then I could start to shape it. Then I could start to mold it. Incidentally, the I, I get asked to draw cars a lot on the channel. I've been asked for uh, you know a, a tutorial on cars. Um. And I've been meaning to get to it because I know a lot of people really want to know this. I'm drawing, I mostly, when I drew uh, the Mustang for Archie, it was always uh, a convertible with a top down. I'm giving this a top just because I want to show you guys how I handle the, the interior in, in a minute. Um, so I get asked to how to, you know, for, for a how to draw cars video a lot. Um, and I've been, you know, I've had it on, on the list, been trying to get to it, but as always, you know, a lot of other more immediate topics, uh, come up and I always like to jump around too. I like to do the, the retro reviews and, and contemporary reviews. And I have more of those in the works, especially the retro ones, which I, I, I enjoy more than the contemporary ones, to be honest with you. Um... So most recently, one of my students, one of my current students at the Kubert School specifically asked for this. And, and he usually is in the live chats for my premieres. So I hope he's he's watching this uh, premiere. I uh, hope he's in the live chat as this one uh, rolls out for the first time. I normally leave the tires for last, but as with many details, I sometimes can't help myself. What gets tricky is the, the front, the front area of the car. Number one, the whole front section gets very, very detailed on certain cars. Um, and what you got to do is just look at it and take it piece by piece. Look at the broad strokes of it. The Ford Mustang has this, this wide grill. It's got a couple of lights set within the grill. The horse, the classic Mustang horse, is set within that grill as well. Um, the light, the headlights are set kind of. It's, it's there's a there's a bit of a space setting it apart from from the grill area. Um, then there's a bit of an indentation underneath that area, and we get to the fender which wraps around and I'm moving quickly here. So I hope, uh, 
I hope the Mustang enthusiasts out there will forgive any little flaws because uh, I really just want to be able to get this down in a way that you guys can, can appreciate it. Now it's it's these details. This is why this is why the reference is so important because this stuff you're just not gonna be able to do this convincingly unless you've got it in front of you or unless you're you're a real Ford fan, a real Ford Mustang fan, and you know this stuff inside out. You just know the Mustang that well. Um, I am not that much of a car enthusiast, although I love cars, and I and I certainly love older cars. I I think old cars, pre seventies cars, have a whole lot more class, elegance, personality, charm. Um, I think the cars today, there's sort of a, a generic quality to them all. Um, I have a hard time separating makes and models just because a lot of the cars today just just look so much alike. Uh, everything has that soft egg shape to it. And actually, that makes car drawing cars easier. Um, older cars were more geometric. They, they were more of a square. They were more of a particular shape. Nowadays, cars tend to have rounded, softer shapes to them. So um, that should make them a little easier. Okay, now, you, you know, at, at this point, you, you get into the real nitty gritty of, you know, the, the, the details. Um, now, for the tires, yeah, you could use a, a, a template, an ellipse template, which is, I've shown you guys before, um, you know, one of these, the kind of like stencils where you could use these and find the size and degree of ellipse that you want and kind of trace the shape in there. Sometimes, you know, so it, it, I, I would certainly use this if I'm inking a car because I want the line to be precise. If I'm just penciling it, sometimes though, I'll just kind of rough it in, just rough it in. Incidentally, sometimes when people draw uh, the tires in a car, they, they draw the car, the car's body, as though it's resting, sitting right on that tire. And they, they neglect that cars can have what's called a suspension, which is what holds up the car, which is, it keeps the car from resting, sitting on that, that, uh, that tire. So, you know, a little space in here between the, the body of the car and the tire itself. Also, a little bit of a cast shadow underneath the car helps, it, it helps kind of ground the car in, into the setting, into the background. Uh, wherever the car is is positioned um, and it just makes the car look like it's not floating in limbo now the interior okay when we're we're looking inside from the exterior like this we could really fake a lot of the interior now there's there's a back seat because things are going to be darker in there so there's a back seat maybe we see a little bit of the dash peeking out and what I'm gonna do, because things are so dark in there, I'm just gonna kind of silhouette everything back there. So we see the, the rear roof support, the back seat will be in, in shadow. The rear roof support that way. I forgot the little, the little windows gotta put those in um, get also details like the rear view mirror uh, and my car is almost done oh well can how can I do this can I forget some of these these lines the Mustang enthusiast would never forgive me if I left out that that classic line here and the door door handles and of course there's the little uh, now this 
this space could be a little more. But there's this little bit of adornment. And uh, again, I, I'm gonna be off on some details here. And I'm hoping that you guys will, what I'm doing here will serve as an example of how to draw all cars and not just, not just strictly the Ford Mustang. Um, but I, I would I would really be doing this same kind of uh, the the same practice I would be using for all cars all cars that that I would be drawing be breaking it down into a basic shape sketching over modeling moving that shape until it looks like the car that I want but what's key in drawing cars just like in drawing buildings and drawing and drawing backgrounds, reference. I can't say that enough. That that is absolutely crucial. If you want to draw a car, look at cars. Get pictures of cars. Get pictures of the specific car that you want, and uh, and draw it. Draw it. Take a look at the details. Take a look. What's really important is take a look at the spaces between things. Take a look at the distance, say from the from the wheel well to the door, uh, from, from the front wheel to the rear wheel, uh, from, you know, from the window to where the roof support ends, um, the distances between the two headlights, the, the, the actual width of the, full, of the grill, um, that will make a difference. So there we have it, there we have it, a Ford Mustang, Again, I hope you'll forgive the flaws. And uh, that's how I draw it. So I hope this helps. Th there's a whole lot more. I mean, I could probably do a video series on cars alone. Um, actually, uh, something that might, uh, that might be worth a video is cars in action. Uh, and that's, that could be a whole other thing. So let me know if that interests you. So if you, uh, if you like this video, as always, please click like. If you have any questions about anything that I said, anything that, that I drew and you, you want me to expand upon, please let me know in the comments below. I try to reply to every comment personally. Um, so that's it for this one. As always, please click like, please share the video, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and please, please, please keep drawing. That's the best way to get good at this. Keep drawing, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.